Okay. So if I want to solve for this problem, and it says solve for y, right? And this is going to be helpful, guys, when we're going to get into graphing. So it's very important that you understand the skill. I know we've already worked on it, and we're going to keep on reviewing the skill. So remember to solve for y. One way I can do this is I can circle my variable. And what that means is I'm going to pin now my variable, Jonathan, right there to the board. I'm not going to move this variable. But my goal is to get y equal to something. Okay? When you say solve for y, that means I want y all by itself. So we look at what's happening to y. Well, I have a positive 2x, which means I'm adding a 2x, and I have a negative 5 being multiplied by the y. I'm not subtracting a 5. That's a negative 5, and it's being multiplied by your y. So the first thing we always do is undo addition and subtraction. So what is being added or subtracted to my variable? Well, I'm adding a 2x right here, so I'm going to subtract a 2x. Therefore, I'm left with negative 5y equals a negative 2x plus 3. Remember I told you I always want to write the term with the coefficient or with the variable in it in front of my constant. So that's a positive 3. That's why it's plus 3. That's a negative 2x. That's why it's negative 2x. Right? And remember, you can't combine them. We've already yes. gone over videos on that. You can't combine those two. But now I'm going to divide by negative 5 because negative 5 is multiplied by my y. That cancels out to give me 1, so I'm left with y equals a negative 2x plus 3 divided by 5. Now remember, I didn't want this to be my answer. I want you guys to divide that 5 into both of these terms. That's a negative 5, right? Mm -hmm. So now if you guys notice, negative 5 is not evenly going to negative 2, right? <coughs> so guess what? We're just going to have a fraction. And that's perfectly fine because once we learn about slope, you guys will see actually fractions are not that bad. So Carrie, what you're going to do, and I'm going to say negative 2 divided by negative 5. The negatives are going to cancel out, and I'm left with a positive 2 fifths x plus negative 5 does not go into 3 either. So I've got to make up a fraction. But notice I have a positive 3 divided by negative 5. So that's going to be a negative 3 fifths. Or I can just write minus 3 fifths. Okay? So that would be how I want you to write your finalized answer. So that's how you solve for y when you have a problem with an x and a y.